Hello there. I trust you are enjoying a wonderful weekend. Get ready for another in-depth exploration into price action based technical analysis. In this session, our focus turns to the GBP USD market structure, which in the year 2023 experienced its most robust performance since 2017. The United Kingdom economy concluded 2023 on a stronger note than initially anticipated. Starting the year around the 1.200 level, as you will see right here on my weekly time frame on your screen, the pound soared um, into um, a 15-month high are reaching over 1.314 area in the month of July, fueled by speculations that the United Kingdom's interest rate could climb to as high as 6.5%. However, as autumn unfolded, Stalin retraced its gains as UK inflation eased and market sentiment shifted as a result of the Bank of England's reassessment that of the need for stringent monetary policies. Nevertheless, it was a positive year for the pound sterling, witnessing a growth of about 6.3%, um, closing somewhere around that 1.27400 area. Well, as we step into 2024, the preceding week saw a rebound with with the pound selling exhibiting strength against the US dollar and of course this surge occurred despite U positive US economic data indicating an improvement in market risk appetite. Yet the direction of price action remains uncertain at this juncture. In fact, we had recent official data suggesting that the United Kingdom might be on the verge of a mild recession defined by two consecutive quarters of economic contraction. Additionally, concerns about the economy have prompted calls from business leaders for the Bank of England to cut their interest rates. And as a result of this development, market participants are pricing in a potential reduction in the bank's interest rate by the month of May. Now, with no major economic features on the United Kingdom economic dockets for next week, how do we strategically position ourselves for the challenges that lies ahead for Bank of England's policy makers? Stay tuned in as we unravel the potential trajectory of price action, utilizing our simple and fundamental tools such as trend lines, key levels and chart patterns to guide our analysis. A quick reminder before we proceed, this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. My goal is to provide insights into the GBPUSD chart, enriching your comprehension of price action analysis. Always remember, forex trading involves inherent risk, so exercise caution and consider consulting a professional financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Without further ado, let's dive right into the first technical analysis on the GBP USD for the year. As we shift our attention into the daily time frame, the structural outlook here is quite very, very simple. And what I did here was to take into consideration the nature of price action since the month of September of last year. That's an historical data of about um, three to about five months uh, here. And it's quite clear that the market has been bullish throughout this phase of time. And when I did connect the series of higher lows, I had this um, couple of ascending trend lines which further buttresses how strong um, the buyers were in the last three to four months. Now, in addition to the trend lines are a couple of levels which are going to be playing a major role in guiding our trading decisions for this week. And one of this level is my key level at the 
200 area as you will see how this level had played a major role in determining the direction of price action since the month of June of last year. At some point, this level was a strong buying niche. As you will see, price broke out the structure. We saw our selling pressure came back again but didn't last long before price action broke out of that structure one more time to test that new high at the 1.314. Then after that, we saw how price dropped back below the structure and in the month of August, we saw price resume below the 1.272 and in fact, in the last, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in the last five months, price action had continued to trade below this particular area to further emphasize the strength of the sellers around this point. Now, with the information we have gathered here, you would agree with me that we are at a crucial juncture. A zone or an area which is characterized by strong selling niche since the month of July. Now going into the new week, how do we intend to position ourselves for the next move? How are we going to continue um, buying considering the strong bullish trend line we have here? Probably breaking out of that supply zone to incite new waves of bullish momentum. Or are there chances that price could continue selling pressure below the 1.272 just like it has done in the past to incite a sell-off? However, to answer this, I already have a simple trading setup on the 4 hours time frame which we will be using to guide our decisions for this week. But before we go into that detail, it is very, very important for us to keep tabs with the fundamental factors that will be affecting the market sentiment for this week. And of course, we know that by monitoring the economic calendar, we aim to pinpoint uh, potential correlations between critical economic releases and specific technical patterns on the chart hereby giving us valuable information needed to position ourselves in such a way that we can capitalize on the next potential move. Now, on the economic calendar and based on the assets on, we are talking about here, we shall be focusing on both the United States and the United Kingdom economic dockets. But like I stated earlier, there are no major events from the United Kingdom, so we will be focusing on the United States. Now, the first impactful event is coming in on Thursday, that's January 11 from the United States Economic Docket, and that is the Consumer Price Index. Well, this is a data that examines the average change in prices paid by consumers for goods and services over the last month. And it is considered that a higher than expected CPI can lead to concerns about inflation, impacting market sentiment as it may prompt expectations of tighter monetary policies to control rising prices. Then fast forward to Friday, January 12, we have the producer price index, another important economic data, which measures the average changes over time in the selling prices received by domestic producers, excluding the volatile food and energy sector. A higher than expected reading suggests potential inflationary pressures impacting market sentiment by signaling changes in production cost and potentially affecting uh, the consumer prices. Then later on that day, we will look forward to the publication of the University of Michigan and that is the Consumer Sentiment Index as well. So with, the, with all the information we've gathered on the economic calendar, it is quite clear that we have a bunch of impactful events that will be affecting the market sentiment for this week. And as technical traders, we do understand that even the anticipation of this event has a tendency of influencing the market sentiment, which of course will reflect on the chart as price action. Now, talking about price action, we shall be scaling down into the four hours time frame where I have a simple setup that we will be using to guide our decisions for this week. Now, what I did on the four hours time frame was to take into consideration the nature of price action since the mid month of November. And the first thing I was able to observe here is the bullish momentum. And after connecting the series of higher lows, 
we have an ascending trend line to work with and of course you do know how we use our ascending trend lines in this community as long as price action remains above the ascending trend line we want to be looking out for patterns and structures that will support the idea of buying that asset and the only condition that will make us want to start considering selling is for price to breach and break down the ascending trend line and as it is right now price obviously has remained above this ascending trend line since the beginning of this year and while price remains above the ascending trend line we have a couple of more levels here to further give us an insight into the behavioral pattern of market participants in this market now if you look at the structure since um I think since the mid-month of, of December, you will see our price action has been confined within the 1.28250 level and the 1.261500 area to emphasize the uncertainty that has gripped this market. And of course, whenever we have this kind of range like this, we want to exercise patience waiting for either the breakout of the resistant line or the support line of the range to give us a trading opportunity. However, to guide our decisions for this week, our key level at 1.272 is going to be playing a major role. And of course, you know how we use our key level. Whenever price action breaks above our key level, we look out for patterns and structures that support the idea of buying. And when price remains below the key level, we want to be looking out for selling opportunities now if you take into consideration what has been going on in this market since the beginning of this year you will see that the year started on a bearish note bringing price into that support line at the 1.26150 which interestingly shares a confluence with the ascending trend line and we saw how it became difficult for um, sellers to break through the structure bringing price back into the key level and then we saw another sharp rejection here as this is a sign that sellers are finding it difficult to settle uh, below the 1.2615 hereby welcoming a higher chance that buyers may take over this market and if you look at things closely it appears that price action is gradually transitioning into a reversal setup in the form of a double bottom structure where Coincidentally, the key level identified at the 1.272 will be serving as the neckline of this reversal pattern. So if price action breaks out of the um, neckline here, we look out for buying opportunities and then break out of the 1.282500 level will welcome more buying opportunities. However, if price action drops below and then breaks down the ascending trend line and of course the 1.26150 level then at this point we may start considering selling opportunities from this particular level so you can see that we are at a crucial juncture in this market as depending on how market participant reacts to this key level at the beginning of the week will determine what our next course of action will be but trust me i will be with you in the comment section of this video on monday morning after monitoring our participant in this market will be reacting to this key level after which i will be giving an update on how we intend to proceed on the next move if you have found this content helpful and useful in making your independent trading decision for the week i would greatly appreciate your support by giving the video a thumbs up your likes are valuable to me and helps the algorithm promote the video to a wider audience of traders who may find the material beneficial. Thank you in advance for doing so. If you haven't already, I encourage you to follow me on this channel for more of this content. By subscribing, you will always stay updated with the latest ideas I share and of course receive notifications whenever I upload new videos and commentaries. See you all in the comment section on Monday morning as we get prepared for the new week. Do have a wonderful evening everyone. Bye-bye.